and child should train their children about business. Because the saying is true, any man that does not train his children with an occupation is training them to become a thief. Because if you don't work, you will steal. The Bible says if a man won't work, neither let him eat. Jesus says, I've been in business already a long time. For when I was 12 years old, I didn't wait for Mary and Joseph to talk to me. I already knew I must be about my father's business. I know Joseph has a carpenter shop and I've been an apprentice there, but that's not really my business. That was my cover for a season. But my real business, the world couldn't handle it yet. Nazareth couldn't handle it. Capernaum couldn't handle it. But it's a big enough business that I can go into all the world. If you are rejected in one city, Jesus said before you leave town, shake off the dust of your feet as a testimony against it. It'll be more tolerable for them than Sodom and Gomorrah. Jesus nourishes his call in the kingdom. He tells the owners of the ship, the season has changed, but you wouldn't know it if you stay where you are. You can't handle the change of the season unless you have a change in your thinking, a change in your belief system, a change in your behavior, a change in your approach to life. So Jesus says, launch out into the deep. But if you stay at the shore, you'll get your toes wet, but you ain't going to catch nothing. You'll be safe, but you'll never win in the game of life. If you really want to win, get away from your safety net. Go out into the deep for drought. Jesus assures them the seasons have changed. How do you know the seasons have changed? Because you caught nothing last night. You ought to have sense enough to admit that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over, getting the same results. If you want things to change, you got to change. If you want things to improve, you got to improve. If you want blessings to come down, then you got to know how to send up the praise. You have failed. I want you to know, anytime you tall all night long, and caught nothing, you need a new season. Anytime you've wrestled, anytime you've cried all night long and taken nothing, nothing to show for your sacrifice, nothing to show for your years of service, nothing to show for all that you've given. Oh, it's time for a change of season. Jesus commands them, get out into the deep. Leave your family. Leave your safety net. Leave your comfort zone. Get out into the deep. Oh, Lord, I'm not sending you. I'm going with you. God won't send you. Well, he won't go himself. He is a real commander-in-chief. Some people sit back 
in an Oval Office and sent others to do their fighting. Jesus is a different kind of commander in chief. Jesus says, before you fight, I'm going to fight first. Before you sacrifice, I'm going to sacrifice first. Before you engage in being on a cross, I'm going to hang on a cross first. I can't tell you, take up your cross until I take up my cross. Jesus died on the cross. Oh, Jesus nailed in his hands and feet, crowned with thorns, speared in his side. I can't send you. Well, I'm not going myself and don't trust any leader that tells you to go, but he stays back. That's why I couldn't be a part of a Muslim faith that tells me strap bombs around your waist and go on a bus or go into a city and detonate. All right, leader, where's your vest? All right, leader, where's your bomb? You want me to blow myself up and you sitting back living in comfort. Mm, that's what Osama bin Laden did. He told those who bombed, you do it. Those that flew into the World Trade Center, into the Pentagon, went down in the field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. You hijacked the plane. But when they found Osama bin Laden in Pakistan, he wasn't strapped with bombs. He was hiding in plain sight. Had two wives living in the house with him, living in luxury, living in comfort, sending others to their death. But Osama bin Laden protecting himself. But Jesus said, if anybody dies, I die first. If anybody suffers, I suffer first. If anybody bleeds, I bleed first. If anybody goes to hell, I'm going first. And when I get to hell, I'm going to announce it's a new season. The resurrection power is here. The kingdom is here. The glory is here. The anointing is here. Jesus announced a new season in the belly of hell for the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He's anointed me. Anointing means I'm lubricated. Death can't hold me. The grave can't keep me. Even as he preached in hell, demons all around. It's my season. I'm taking back my keys. I'm taking captives. I'm leading captivity captive it's my season and when I get out of hell I'm taking my prisoners with me get up death is not your master the grave is not your prison hell is not your end I have all power of heaven and earth in my hands Jesus is the master of every season. Jesus rocks me when I get weary. Jesus feeds me in a season of hunger. Jesus gives me drink in a season of thirst. Jesus heals me in a season of COVID, Delta, and Omicron. Jesus Jesus guides me through the storm. Oh, Jesus is the master of every season. Remember, you have at least 
five seasons. I said, you have at least five seasons. You have one season called winter. You have another season called spring. And then there's another season called summer. And another season called autumn. But that is not enough. Bring on season number five. That season says be not weary in well doing. You shall reap in due season if you faint not. You tall all night long but don't faint. You caught nothing last night but don't faint. Your money's gone but don't faint. Friends are gone. Don't faint. Sister's gone. Brother's gone. Mama's gone. Daddy's gone. Oh, Lord, I'm with you always. Even to the end, Jesus is with you. Jesus will encourage you. Jesus will raise you up. Jesus will bring you out. Jesus will exalt you. Jesus will promote you. He'll crown you with wisdom, glory, and honor. Jesus will baptize you with his spirit. Spirit, somebody help me say it's a new season. Come on, give God some praise. It's a new season and it's mine. I've been through the winter, I've been through the spring. We did it together for 12 months. We were out on the lot this time last year. We were preaching out on the parking lot. We stayed there for a season. Some folk ridiculed us, talked about us made fun of us but look at me now I'm stronger I'm better I'm wiser I got a testimony he brought me all the way he established us made us steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord this is my season to thrive my season to over come my season to abound launch out come on and look at somebody and tell them launch out launch out into the deep say yes say yes come on and give God some glory hallelujah hallelujah here's your season your season is a net breaking boat sinking haul of fish God want to send you so much blessing you don't have room God want to bless you so much you can't even handle it you got to open your heart open your hands open your mind and let it flow rivers of living water you can't keep all that in you but God will put it in you if you let it flow. If he can get it through you, he'll get it to you. Let it flow. Miracles, power, outstanding accomplishments, overcomers, more than conquerors. He'll give it to you if he can get it through you. But you got to let it flow. Launch out into a new season, a new beginning, a new confession. Hallelujah. Come on, help me give God some praise here today. Glory. Glory. Let us give God thanks. Eternal God, our Father, we bless you for this opportunity to reach souls around the world. May you continue to bind us closer together in the love of Jesus Christ. As your word says, now unto him, who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. May the power of the Holy Spirit move upon our lives that we may fulfill 
our kingdom assignment. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you.